the best bit is when they say, you're commissioned. <laughs> You've yeah. got, got a show. And at that point, it could be the funniest thing ever. There is no limit to how brilliant it could be and how fantastic your future could be as a result. It's the and gap every in stage that. thereafter, mm. you, you get more worried and you think, was that decision a fuck up? The stages writing Peep Show, we start sort of seven or eight months before the filming <laughs> begins, uh, as you know, where we do all our scene by scenes of what's going to happen in each uh, episode. Of course, this show has a fantastic advantage of being able to hear the thoughts of the two main characters. So we've always had a fantastic way to sort of add exposition to the story to bring it on track if we felt we were going off. That's the most in sort of when you've got the most freedom, but also quite anxiety making because you're spending a lot of time coming up with these ideas and then giving them to uh, the producer and the channel and hoping uh, that particularly the channel don't say we hate things about Nazis that's not funny, you know, got think up a new idea of something that's funny. So, what are you doing? Are you writing an episode of Peep Show? Actually, Phil, I'm writing a hit list of all people I'm going to kill and you're on the top of it. <laughs> uh -huh. Everything's fucked. Calm down, Jez. It's going to be okay. Rehearsing is two weeks, go through the scripts every day, talk about what we could add mm -hmm. and, you know, what bits seem a bit flabby. During rehearsal and before rehearsal, we're kind of punching up and making quite a lot of changes. Yes! <laughs> it's relentless sometimes, oh, you think. Enough already stop. <laughs> with the jokes. Is everyone so sad they need all these jokes? <laughs> Everything's still gold. It's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> then shooting is six or seven weeks, and we're sort of in pretty much every day because every scene has got either Mark or Jeremy in, and many have both. Mm. We're both on set as well because we're associate producers. Um, and You're quite proud of that, aren't you? I'm very proud of that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're both associate producers <laughs> on the show. We take it in turns rather sweetly so that one of us can get a good night's sleep and a, you know, late morning. Lord it over everyone else who doesn't get to do that yeah. and uh, become popular. The show is all, all shots very uniquely, as you, as you know from seeing the programme. It's, um, it's all shot from the first-person perspective. And uh, in terms of whether that's hard or easy, it's, it's probably the easiest show I've ever had to direct in my life because it's, um, it's comp one of the hardest things about directing is, is you know, where are you going to put the camera, where are you going to put the actors. So you only have one of those uh, elements is removed because I know exactly where I'm going to put the camera because it's where the people are standing. And so you can have much more fun with the blocking knowing that uh, I'm just going to put the cameras where the actors are. So it's incredibly easy. Cut. Out there, thank you. I, it's, I think it's a lot more difficult shooting it. Yeah, because you, you can't look into someone's face when you're acting with them. That's hard, not being able to read what, what, what the, the, what's happening on the face of the actor you're meant to be doing it with. And action! So basically man is programmed to do two things, yeah? Kill and knob. In the Stone Age we'd get up, kill an antelope. And knob the corpse. No, Jess. I think I was talking to the producer and he said, look, filming's horrible. It's fine. You don't have to enjoy this. I hate filming. <laughs> filming's rubbish. Everybody's tired and they're stressed and nothing's ever as good as you think it's going to be. And, God, it's, it's horrible. And that really cheered me up. Just the knowledge that, you know, I wasn't alone. <laughs> and obviously there are bits that you enjoy, but, but often, you know, making, making comedy isn't... Yeah. Isn't much fun. I think the, the awful thing is it's, it's really tiring and worrying while you do it, and then you really miss it. You know, we had this sort of little digital mini cam, which we, which the actors had to, poor actors had to wear this sort of like potholders helmet, which they could, you know, look, and it's great for sort of eating food and getting really close to the other people. I remember this, the scene where Mark is is um, brooming Jeff through the door in episode five as a highlight, because that scene worked really well. It's like well choreographed and very well directed and all the actors are great. And I never realised what an incredible phallic symbol that was <laughs> until we actually filmed it. A man thrusting a red broom handle through a letterbox repeatedly, <laughs> screaming swear words. I'm gonna give you the broom, Jeff! I'm gonna broom you! I think the bits I like shooting most are where I just have to sit still and talk. 
So I like the scene. He loves this. Yeah, I like the scene uh, with the sausage and Johnson talking about you know it's racist oh, to put a sausage on a, on a German's that, office door. Like that was fun because it was a really funny scene. It had a nice easy prop that stayed still. And it, we could sit comfortably, and it wasn't too hot or too cold, and I wasn't in a lake or in a balloon. Oh, God. You all right, Mark? Yes. No, I don't know. What's the matter? I think I'm actually very hungry. How about, shall we not jump and just have lunch? I'm a great big believer in fructose, always have been. The assumption is that everyone every day has a massive fried breakfast. I love filling with breakfast. I love sausages and bacon and eggs in that combination. I'm really quite a fascinating figure because, you know, who can tell what I'm going to have for breakfast? <laughs> Often I don't even know. I just, I, I just march up there and, you know, it's like a veggie sausage one day, another day it's some muesli. I mean, <laughs> it must be just a joy for people around me to get that kind of variety. The idea is for me not to become a big fat idiot. Has morning coffee at about 11 with nice biscuits. They have a big three-course lunch. What are you eating today, Sam? I'm eating... Um, Vegetarian pork shank. Which is vegetarian. Well, I'm just trying to have the best of both worlds, actually. What are you doing, Phil? You've got a hunger for other people's lives. Is that your problem? And then at four o'clock in the afternoon, you have cake and sandwiches because that's what happens. And you do that Apparently. for seven weeks and then book yourself into a clinic. <laughs> we feel disgusting. There's no other way of putting it. We eat it down because we're pigs who just <laughs> see food and, and eat it because we're bored. And I, I think it should be stopped, but we, none of us can stop it. It's like an addiction. I think it's the whole thing's revolting, frankly. It gets a little bit more serious in the edit now because we've got the footage and we're going to cut it together. And it's sort of a bit like you spend a lot of time getting ingredients from the market, cooking them up, and you know the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So it's really a, a very delicate stage of the production. The first rough cut I find a very awkward thing. It's the first time that I'm watching my own performance. And I think that's, the, as an actor, that's the most difficult time. That's when you look the most fake to yourself. And it's also, that's before they've added the sound properly. It all looks very rough and red. It doesn't look like a proper programme. And you kind of look at it and think, oh, God, that can't go on TV. We can't throw that all away just because I spy on you, can we? It's all anxiety, isn't it, all the way? Yeah, it's like level. increasing anxiety until you get to sort of a volcano of stress sort of around filming. And then it gets worse in the editing because <laughs> you're chopping whole scenes up and you're changing endings. And then it doesn't, until it's finally on television, it doesn't get any less stressful, really. It's and then of, you wait for the reviews to come out and then the ratings and then are you going to get another series? It goes on and on, relentlessly. It's like a hideous carnival of pain. I got the commission! Well, congratulations. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. I've got a commission. It's big and it's fat and it's going right up your white bread ass. Jez, for God's sake, I'm pleased for you. Oh, yeah, sure you are. So pleased that I've gone straight to the finish line on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats.